Here goes. This is my very first spoken word that I just wrote uh, this weekend. Where would I be without the very God that created me? At the center, at the heart, and the core of my life, lost without a compass, distracted without a focus, depressed without motivation, bitter without the sweet, angry without the relief, overwhelmed with a lack of energy. I searched every day for something to occupy the emptiness, the hurt, the disappointment, the heartbreak, the loss, the day-to-day -day struggles as a wife, mom, daughter, aunt, friend, employee, and everything that fell in between. Those had become my identity. I did not realize that judging others Self-centered thinking, uncontrollable shopping, playing panda pop religiously, gossiping by sharing things not concerning me, the success of a position, need for social media likes, having just a few drinks at night, or even putting others before Christ could control me and steal every ounce of joy that was once a part of me. The devil is out to steal, kill, and destroy he is like a thief in the night, positioning himself in the weakest areas of our life until the moment is just right to dissemble the masterpiece God intended each of us to be. I am tired of being sick and tired. I am now in it to win it. To win what, you may ask? the life of every unsaved believer. By the grace of God and His grace alone, I have been set free. Now it's time to step up and run the race that God has set before me. I will give grace to those around me, the same grace God displays so unselfishly. I will love my neighbor as I would myself, no matter their color, their gender, their sexual orientation or addiction they're selling. We are all created by God to tell his story. I pity the people that try to distinguish through judgmental hating and diabolatry. I will speak life unto the dead. Every good and perfect gift is from above. And when I look around, that's all my eyes see is beautiful and unique originations trying to escape our secular world's captivity. I will be a light and aspire to shine only to exalt and glorify the risen sun, a.k.a. the only innocent one, wrongfully accused beaten to unrecognition, both hands and feet nailed to the cross while the soldiers mocked him maliciously until three days later, Jesus rose from the dead. And since that day has been the only man ever to defeat death. Tell me, are you ashamed to speak his name? Raise your hands and worship the God that knows the exact number of hairs on your head? Not me. I will shout the old, old story until the day he brings me home to glory. This world, it brings no satisfaction. I'd rather bow down daily to the God that promised is immeasurably more than I could ever possibly think or imagine. Since I have been crucified with Christ, I no longer live for me, but live for Christ that lives within me. And thank you, God, the only thing I have to be is completely broken for you to use.